Hi, good morning. I like to welcome you to Poem Praise too. I do thank you for tuning in. We are now going to get started in the complete collected poems of Maya Angelou. And uh, as we open up the book, it has this book is dedicated to the great love of my life. And the first poem I have for you in the book is part one, where love is a scream of anguish. They went home. They went home and told their wives that never once in all their lives had they known a girl like me, but they went home. They said my house was licking clean. No word I spoke was ever mean. I had an air of mystery, but they went home. My praises were on all men's lips. They liked my smile, my wit, my hips. They spend one night or two or three, but That completes, they went home. Let's keep moving right along. The next poem is entitled, The Gamut. Soft, you day, be velvet soft. My true love approaches. Look, you bright, you dusty sun, Array your golden coaches. Soft, you wind. Be soft as silk. My true love is speaking. Hold, you birds, your silver throats. His golden voice I'm seeking. Come, you death, in haste. Do come, my shroud of black be weaving. Quiet my heart, be deathly quiet. My true love is leaving. Next poem, a Zorro man. Here, in the wound room, silk purple drapes Flash a light as subtle as your hands before love making. Here, in the covered lens, I catch a clitoral image of your general inhabitation, long and like a late dawn in winter. Here, this clean mirror traps me unwilling in a gone time when I was loved and you were booted and brave and trembling for me. Hmm. Next poem to a man. My name is Black Golden Amber, changing, warm mouse of brandy fine, cautious sunlight on a pattern rug, coughing laughter, rocked on a whorl of French tobacco, Grace, graceful turns on woolen silk secretive, a cat's eye, 
southern, plump, and tender with navy bean sullenness. And did I say tender? The gentleness. A big cat stalks through stubborn bush. And did I mention amber? The heatless fire consuming itself. Again, anew into ever neverlessness. My name is Amber, changing, always into itself. New, now, new, still itself, still. Next poem, late October. Carefully, the leaves of autumn sprinkle down the tiny sound of little dimes and sky sated of rude, ruddy sunsets, of roseate dawns royal carelessly in cobweb grays and turn to black for comfort. Only lovers see the fall, a signal end to endings, a gruffish gesture alerting those who will not be alarmed that we begin to stop and order simply to begin again. Hmm. Next poem is entitled No Loser, No Weeper. I hate to lose something. Then she bent her head. Even a dime, I wish I was dead. I can't explain it, no more to be said, except I hate to lose something. I lost a doll once and cried for a week. She could open her eyes and do all but speak. I believe she was took by some doll snatch and sneak. I tell you, I hate to lose something. A watch of mine once got up and walked away. It had 12 numbers on it and for the time of day. I'll never forget it and all I can say is I really hate to lose something. Now if I felt that way about a watch and a toy, what do you think I feel about my lover boy? I ain't threatening you, madam, but he is my evening joy. And I mean, I really hate to lose something. Next, when you come to me, when you come to me unbidden, beckoning me to long ago rooms where memories lie, offering me as to a child and attic, gatherings of days too few, baubles of stolen kisses, trinkets of borrowed loves, trunks of secret words, I cry. Next, remembering. Soft gray ghost crawled up my sleeve to peer into my eyes while I within denied their threats and answered them with lies. Much like memories perform a ritual on my lips, I lie in stolid hopelessness, and they lay my soul in strips. In a time, in a time of secret wounding, today prepares tomorrow's ruin. Left knows not what right is doing, my heart is torn asunder. In a time of furtive sighs, sweet hellos and sad goodbyes, 
half-truths told in entire lies. My conscience echoes thunder. In a time when kingdoms come, joy is brief as summer's fun. Happiness, its race has run. The pain stalks in to plunder. Next, tears. Tears, the crystal rags, vicious tatters of a worn through soul. Moan, deep swan song, blue farewell of a dying dream. The detached, we die, welcoming bluebirds to our darkening closets, stranglers to our outstretched necks, stranglers who neither care nor care to know that death is internal. We pray, savoring sweet the teether lies, bellowing the grounds before alien gods, gods who neither know nor wish to know that hell is internal. We love, rubbing the nakedness with gloved hands and averting our mouths and tongue kisses, kisses that neither touch nor care to touch if love is internal. To a husband is the next poem. Your voice at times a fist, tight in your throat, jabs ceaselessly at the phantom. In the room, your hand a carved and skimming boat goes down the Nile to point out Pharaoh's tomb. Your Africa to me, at brightest dawn, the Congo's green and copper's brackish hue, a continuant, a continuant to build with black man's brawn. I sit at home and see it all through you. Accident. Tonight when you spread your palette of magnet, tonight when you spread your palette of magic, I escape. Sitting apart, I saw you grim and unkept. Your vulgarness, not of living. Your demands, not from need. Tonight, as you sprinkle your brain dust of rainbows, I had no eyes. Seeing all, I saw the colors fade and change. The blood, red dull through the dye and the naked, black, white, true. Let's majesty. I sit a throne upon the times when kings are rearing consorts, slide into the grease of scullery maids, so gaily wave a crown of light. Astride the royal chair that blinds the commoners who Gunaflect and cross their fingers. The years will lie beside me on the queenie bed, and couples will await the ages, dust to cape my lids again. And when the rousing kiss is given, why must it always be a fairy and only just a prince? Our next upcoming poem is going to be after. I do thank you for your attention. Uh, certainly be blessed, and I'll holler at you later, y'all.